Where the hell have you been? Keep seeing things. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? Yeah. This was different. I think they could see and hear me. It was hard to tell exactly. They seemed really spooked. You see anything else? I saw this woman being taken away. Arrested. She was being accused of witchcraft. The spooky little girl, she gave the name Amy to the priest. That's what got the woman arrested. The woman, Amy. I guess she's in deep shit then. Yeah. Oh, we've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. Another monster. What do you think? Sure. Let's take a look around. See what we can find. Let's see what we can find. Right. Anything. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. This place is a real dump even for this shithole town. Hmm. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. Have you got a big-time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small-town police stations all look the same. Hmm. Do they? There's got to be a phone in here someplace. You're deluded if you think there's anything here. The place is dead, just like the rest of Little Hope. Old witch gal. All right. Real nice. Oh, I already looked at that. There's got to be some. What's this? Hippie junk. TC. There's a phone. See we have a winner. Work. Found a phone. Probably won't work. This could be our way out. Yep, we'll see. Line's dead. Yeah, of course it is. <coughs> Shit! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. Okay, that's not... There. That's the phone. That's the plaque.
this do anything? Okay. Ooh. Seven. It belonged to Reynolds. What's this? A door. That is locked. Go in here. Nope. Okay. The flashlight really doesn't help much. Sometimes it does, but like there's a lot of rooms where it's just pitch black. What is that? That's a phone. What do you think? Answer it. I can do this. Be careful. Don't stress it, Professor. I got this. I'll answer the phone. What can you hear? A woman. She sounds real upset. You have to calm whoever it is down. You'll get nothing if they're hysterical. Can you tell me what you're upset about? As I walked, a man appeared at my front. I reached out in fear. I had not seen him approach. This man I had never seen before. His clothes and manner of speaking were not familiar to me. He spoke of things I didn't... Okay, it's all, okay it's all good. I'm gonna help you out here if I can, but I... I need to know your name. Just jump scares and then flashbacks to old timey time. Come here, girl. I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil word shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things? Then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shut you. Now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. Go be with your kin. I beseech this court and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God. I am innocent of all accusations against Push me. Push now, Amy. What the hell should we do? We need to stay quiet. We just uh, let this play out. See what happens. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors. Those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am. That I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness. But I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. Let us conclude our business here without further ado, lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. Hmm. No! Mary? 
Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me, sir? We will the see the truth of it. Her. Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. If I am correct, your touch will release her from this affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. I don't think I can take much more of this. I think it's almost over. You are in no danger. They are here among us. They are here among us. No! What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. Interesting. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. I can't believe how much that woman looked like me. How in the hell is that even possible? When you first told me, I thought you were messing with me or exaggerating. Everybody there is related to somebody. That woman for myself was a whole world of weirdness. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning, hanging, burning. And let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars. Like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. I'm with you. That kid knew exactly what she was doing when she dropped Angela 2.0 deep in the shit. That woman, my double, was very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah, it was tough to watch, for sure. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. How did they know that they were in there? Hey, Taylor, we're in here. We can't open the damn doors. We can't either. They must be locked. No shit. Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. Hit it. Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nothing that's gonna help us much. But I found this. It's kinda neat. I don't believe it. I saw this exact keychain in my dream. That's pretty weird. It's more than weird. It's significant. Hmm. I just don't know how. Still think First, splitting up was a smart move? I would say I'm now more open to exploring other options. I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. 
You know what happened to your double, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused. Tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea. But how would we even begin to find that out? Good question. We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? They're going down the witch trail. This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. The trial, the strange girl, Angela's double. Feels like it's all building towards something. Only question is, are we headed someplace good or bad? And bad is probably very, very bad. All right. All right. Lead our stu my students towards town. Let's go. This fog is getting worse. Yep. Maybe the fog was the reason for the diversion. We were never meant to make it out of here. Mm-hmm. I can't see for shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jesus! Ooh. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Okay. Who's first up? Huh. Professor, you keep telling us you're in charge, so... Okay. Sure thing. Is Let's it safe see. To cross? We're gonna find out. Don't stress. The professor and me will make sure you get across, no problem. Right, we'll we'll get you over for sure. Can't stay here. In this year of our Lord, More sixteen hundred and ninety two. We are here present to bear witness to a just execution. No! Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. I've done no wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve death. I beg you. I don't know how to help you. Tell me what I can do. Please, sir. You must help me. You must. The 
the devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. You cannot do this! Isaac, I am innocent. fulfill the will of the court. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he come for us all. Little Hope is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons, we are poisoned from within. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. In Lil Hope, he has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child by accuser. While Mary still draws breath, Little Hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reference. Be your very fix! Isaac. How'd she get her arms out? Saw. Your double was pushed into the river in chains. She drowned. I'll go first. <clears throat> okay, you two, get on down here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go. did it. Everybody's alive. That's her double. I 
That's creepy. <laughs> Phew, that was really quite close for Angela. She was almost lost to a fate worse than death. Not that there's anything particularly wrong with death. Hmm. Well done. Not a soul lost so far. Things could have been quite different. Given the way in which the stakes have been uh, elevated, some kind of weapon might be useful about now. Don't you think? Yeah, probably. Really should have explored more thoroughly, you know. Too late now. Hmm. Boys have some interesting theories. Could they, as Andrew has suggested, be the reincarnated souls of their historical counterparts? Or maybe you're choosing to believe Daniel's theory that they're already dead. My dream was lengthened after life. Oh, then began the tempest to my soul. I passed, methought, the melancholy flood with that sour ferryman which poets write of unto the kingdom of perpetual night <laughs> it's possible i suppose maybe the bus driver can shed some light this must be very confusing for you right now doppelgangers witches ghosts death and demons what could possibly tie all of these souls together? I dare say we'll find out. Hmm? Yes, so. I have been granted permission to give you a single hint. Tempted? <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, then. We will once again turn to the bard for some cryptic inspiration I met him once you know I meet everybody once act 5 scene 1 where Cleomenes begs Leontes to forgive himself for causing the death of Hermione do as the heavens have done forget your evil with them forgive yourself Okay. Go on then. As terrifying as it might be, you should get back to 